Hi, love. Notice something different? Yeah, I'm wearing blue today. Yay, blue. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. I had to do it. I had to go to the beautician today to get my hair permed. Yeah, no. <laughs> I couldn't do it. When I woke up, I had it on my mind because I just got frustrated. And when I got there, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And I chickened out. Yes, I did. I went Zacky Farms all the way. So what I did have her do, which I've never been to this beautician before. She was recommended by someone that I saw in the store. Her hair was laid. It was beautiful. So what I did, um, asked her if she could do a roller set so that way... <laughs> I can see exactly one-on-one -on -one how it's done on my hair, what products she uses and everything. And so she was like, um, okay, that's no problem. I can do a roller set. I said, now I'm natural. Now, mind you, I had already taken my do-rag off my head, which I was looking a hot mess. And so she goes, you want me to do a roller set on natural hair? I should have got up and ran at that point. So I explained to her how you guys do it on YouTube all the time. I can't do it. I don't know how, and this is why I'm here. And she goes, well, let me wash your hair so I can kind of see what kind of texture. And she goes, by the way, when was the last time you had your hair trimmed? Mind you, she has not even touched my hair. Do you hear me? Y'all hear me? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? She has not even touched my hair. And she wants to know when was the last time I had my hair cut. And my hair was in braids and pent up in the back. She hadn't touched it. <sighs> okay. That was bell number two that was going off in my head. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> So, I said, oh my God, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm going to let her wash and condition it. And then by then, I'll decide if I want, it, want her to take it any further. So, she's washing my hair and stuff. And she's feeling it. And she put some kind of voodoo in my hair. Because my hair was so soft. Do y'all hear me? Soft. That she could actually take the comb. I don't know if she used a chicken foot. I don't know if she used gorilla spit, used motor oil. I have no idea. All I know was that my hair felt like cotton, literally. Now, it could have been from when I did the coconut um, uh, conditioner in my hair yesterday. And I'll tell y'all about that later or probably on another video. When I felt that, I said, okay, this is positive. So, oh, y'all need to hold on because I'm getting hot and I don't want to sweat this so, out. So, I'm thinking, okay, my hair is soft. It's never been this soft. So, I asked her, I said, since you've never done a roller set on natural hair, what can you do? I mean, I never thought I'd ask a beautician that before. She said, well, let me put you under the dryer and I'll think about it. Now she is a licensed beautician, little youngster, uh, probably 20-ish or so. And um, I was looking at her hair and yeah, that should have been the third bell. Anyway, maybe she had a bad morning. I don't know. So, I went under the dryer, came out, and she started combing through my hair. And then she goes, well, what I can do is, I said, she goes, I can do a blowout. I said, I don't want a blowout. I don't want all that heat, that direct heat in my hair. 
She goes, well, then I'll just do a press and curl. I said, okay, a press and curl. I haven't had one since I was a little girl, so yeah. I said, okay, do a press and curl. And I said, make sure you use heat protectant. So she did it. She sprayed it in my hair. This ain't going to turn out good. This is not going to be good. So I, I got my eyes closed. And I'm just like, Lord, if I end up bald-headed, I'm going to have to snatch her face off and beat her with her own face. So as I'm opening my eyes as she's finishing up, because I'm opening my eyes as she's finishing up, because there is like little pieces of my hair raining down, like raining down. My mouth was wide open. I'm like, oh my God, like little, like tiny pieces. I'm like, oh my God. So I started looking around on the floor. I got on black pants. She had me in a black robe kind of thing. And so I couldn't see it on me. But as I'm looking on the floor, I didn't see that much. But it was enough to cause... A, I almost alarm. peed my pants. Alarm. She goes, well, what it is is your dead ends. You need a trim. I don't know you. My mama told me not to talk to strangers. And you are a stranger to me. Talking about you want to cut my hair? I said, well, then I will trim it myself because I don't know you, you know. Yeah, and it's a wonder I was still sitting in that chair. So then she started flat ironing my hair. She flat ironed, I mean, I'm sorry, she started pressing my hair, and then she bumped it with a flat iron. And I must say, my hair has never felt or looked as good as it did ever in my life. Now, as a sidebar, while she has a pressing comb, Pressing my hair out, this heifer walks in and she sits about as close as I am to you, like she could smell my breath. And she's talking to my stylist. And she's just blathering on about absolutely nothing. She wasn't on fire, she wasn't having a heart attack. Nothing. She's blathering on, excuse me. And I just happened to like look at her like, don't you see she has a hot comb and you're carrying on a conversation with her. I'm not even talking to her because I want her to concentrate on what she's doing. Are you kidding me? You have an appointment after me? Then you could sit in that chair and you could distract her all she wants because I'm not trying to get bald headed and I'm not trying to get burnt up in this piece. So I give her that, you know what, please look at her. And she caught the hint, thank God. And she goes, well, I'll come back. Is that rude? I mean, I'm not trying to get burnt. So anyway, now that I digress back to where I was. She flat ironed my hair. She bumped it with the curling iron. And so this is the end result. It's so soft. I'm going to take it down. Ow. Ow, ow. I'm not used to this now. Ladies. My hair floats. It freaking floats. Look. Uh, 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 freaking love it. That's her thing, press and curls. That's her thing. Whew, Lord. Okay, now, yes, I will go back to her again. Look at that. Can you see? I ain't had Schwain like that ever. And... Ladies, I am officially past, past bra strap length. I wouldn't have known that had I not gone and got a press and curl. I'm going to go back in about um, six weeks, have it done again. And I figured I can do it like maybe every six weeks or so. Wear it straight as 
as long as I could keep it straight and then go back to my protective style and then come out and get another press and curl like every six weeks. Do y'all think that's too much? I don't know. I've never rocked a press and curl as an adult. I mean, it's been a hundred years since I've had one. I see they're still done the same way, except with the flat iron, bumping it with the flat iron. But yeah, I love it. Um, yeah. What do y'all think? Let me know. Look at that. Hopefully in a couple of days it'll get better. That's what I was told. Um, the hair will fall better. Um, so anyway, that's where I've been today. That's what I've been doing. Let me know what you think. Comment below. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh.